We are preparing our house for sale soon and will be moving, so I haven't had a lot of time in the simulator over the last few months. I will share the latest mods I've been working on here and there will be one more video showing the motion platform being disassembled so the room can be returned to a bedroom. I'm very keen to get into DCS. Now while I love X-Plane and will continue flying it, DCS offers a different experience and lots of new things to learn. My first few flights in DCS were in the Huey, but it soon became clear that the Pro Flight Trainer Puma Helicopter controls were too restrictive and limited my choices of aircraft in DCS. So I simply unbolted the Puma and added the Thrustmaster A10 Warthog Hotus. Now this is a serious joystick and throttle, you can tell that even before you take it out of the box as it's so heavy. Uh, there are many unboxing and review videos on this fantastic joystick so I'm not going to sing its praises here. Uh, the joystick has a large centering spring which I removed and saved in a sealed plastic bag so it could be reattached at some point in the future. The split throttle makes emulating the cyclic and collective easy and it didn't take long to get used to this new way of controlling the helicopter. The Puma is a really excellent controller for helicopter flying and no amount of mods to a joystick will compare to its precision and ease of flying. Well, I spend a lot of time experimenting with pedals to get the most comfortable position while being able to get my legs under the crossbar and the main consideration was that it had to be very strong and not wobble from side to side. I added heavy duty brackets to uh, which work really well uh, and I still haven't painted it but I have settled on this configuration and will finish it off when I reassemble it. I now feel confident to rest the full weight of my feet and legs in the pedals and the design doesn't hit the two front actuators even in the most extreme positions. In the end I didn't make any serious changes to the platform and it would be easy to return the helicopter controls at some point. But after using the joystick for a while I wondered if it might be easier to use if the shaft between the base and the handle was extended a bit. I went to Thingiverse and downloaded a Warthog extension and 3D printed it. However, the extension cable I got from eBay wouldn't fit inside the extension tube. The two moulded plugs were just too long when put end to end. So rather than reprinting it, I used an aluminium paint roller extension pole and cut off a short section and used 5 minute epoxy to fix it to the 3D printed ends. With the PS2 extension cable now working inside the extension tube, it was time to experiment with the mounting. After trying a few different configurations, I came up with this, which works pretty well. It is adjustable by moving the nuts on the M8 threaded rods, and I cut out a circle on the mounting board that was the largest possible while still providing a mounting point for the threaded rods. 3D printed parts meant that the grip is on a slight angle which makes it a bit more comfortable for my wrist. I still need to cut the threaded rod but you can see the amount of adjustment possible. I also made a few modifications to the platform itself. The main one was to remove the step at the back. It was simply too hard to get into the seat safely and now I use a cheap step ladder. So while I was making adjustments I brought all the controller wires out at one point near the front rather than dropping them down from the back of the chair. This made the wiring shorter and eliminated a few extension cables. Well that's all I have for now, uh, I will document the dismantling of the platform and upload that in a week or so. So bye for now.